Hey guys, Marco here from Aviero Live CS. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I have to apologize for not being able to upload videos in the last about five months. I've been busy working, doing different things, uh, but here I am. I want to start uh, doing it again. And today we are going to review the fly instruments and display systems. It's quite an extensive system, guys. So I'm going to try to summarize as much as I can. Today, we're going to talk about the components of the system. Basically, it's, it's, it's going to be a very short video today, but I prefer to do it this way instead of putting everything together. So today, we'll talk about the main components of the system, and then next week, we'll talk about the displays in as much detail as possible. So let's get started. And remember, always check for the most updated information you have, and always follow your company's SOPs. So this is what we are going to review today. The number one is Fly Instruments Review. We are going to talk about the Air Data module, uh, Air Data Inertial Reference Unit, Inertial System Display Unit, and the Mode Celeb Unit. So the Air Data Inertial Reference System produces flight data such as position, speed, altitude, and attitude for the flight displays. The flight management computers, flight controls, engine controls, and all other systems requiring inertial and air data. The major components are, and there are a couple of them you are not going to see in the diagram here. Uh, we are going to talk about them in the next slide. So we have two air data inertial reference units. You can see them there. Four air data modules. There they are. This one, we are not going to see it here, is the one inertia system display unit or ISDU, one dual mode select unit, MSU. We have six static ports. We have three Peter Pros, two alpha veins, and one total air temperature probe. The Adirus. They provide inertial position and track data to the FMC as well as attitude, altitude, and airspeed data to the displays. The ADIRUS process information measured by inertial gyros and accelerometers and from air data module inputs, the alpha veins, and other systems. So the Pyrostatic system is comprised of three separate pitot probes and six flush static ports. Two pitot probes and four static ports interface with the air data modules. The remaining auxiliary pitot probe and alternate static ports provide pitot and static pressure to the standby instruments. The auxiliary pitot probe is located on the first officer's side of the airplane. It's right here. The air data modules convert pneumatic pressure to electrical signals and send this data to the ADIRUS. Each pitot air data module is connected to its own side pitot probe. There is no cross connection. The air data module connected to the captain's pitot probe sends information to the left ADIRU, while the air data module connected to the first officer pitot probe sends information to the right ADIRO. The remaining eight data modules are located at the balance centers of the captain's and first officer's static ports. The eight data module connected to the captain's static ports sends information to the left ADIRO, while the eight data module connected to the first officer's static ports sends information to the right ADIRO. The Inertial System Display Unit, or ISDU. The ISDU is located on the aft overhead panel and displays data according to the position of the display selector and system selector. The ISDU also contains a keyboard for entry of present position and heading. The most select unit, MSU, is located on the aft overhead panel as well and is used to select the operating mode for each IRS. Indicator lights on the MSU show a status of each 
iOS. So guys, that's the end of the video for today. I told you it was going to be a short one. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now. And don't forget to hit that bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. If you think these uh, videos could be useful for somebody else, please share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. Next week, we'll continue talking about the flight instruments and displays. Until then, guys, please take care and hope to see you soon.